Hello, ACA. It's time for chapel again. And we've been talking about the armor of God. We have all the pieces of the armor. Last week we talked about the battle plan. And today we're going to talk about declaring it boldly and what that means. So let's get that armor on. Ready? The breastplate of righteousness, the sturdy belt of truth, the shoes of peace that comes from the good news, salvation as our helmet, the sword of the spirit, and faith is our shield. Then, once all those pieces are in place, then we talk about the battle plan. Remember, prayer is our battle plan. That's where we hear from Jesus. We hear from God. And he tells us the battle plan. Now today, we're going to get ready to declare it boldly and what that means. So, um, our text for the um, armor of God is in Ephesians, um, starting with verse 10. Uh, but today's focus is at the very end of this passage, verses 19 and 20. Pray also for me that what Ever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make it known uh, the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I declare it fiercely as I should. And this is something I pray for every time uh, before I present a chapel, that the Holy Spirit would Give me the words to say that you need to hear. And we need to be prepared to uh, be ambassadors. Now, what does ambassadors mean? You may hear this term as an ambassador uh, to foreign countries or the United States ambassador to France or to Spain. And they send people from the United States to represent the United States in that foreign country. God uses that in um, that word in this passage as that we, as Christ followers, as Christians, we are placed in a foreign country, this evil world, this world that doesn't know Jesus. There's so many people and so many uh things that are not of God in this world, that he sends his Christians, his people into those places to represent Jesus. And that's what the battle plan is. That's why we need every piece of armor to be prepared for the battle ahead. Remember, the whole purpose of the, the armor is to fight against evil schemes against the devil's evil plans. So we are soldiers for Jesus. We represent, we are the ambassadors for Jesus. So sometimes you may hear the words that we are the only Jesus someone sees. They live in the world. They don't know what the Bible says. They don't know about the gospel of peace. They are, and especially now that we can't be together in these scary times, a lot of people are afraid. And remember, we can use the armor to protect us against fear. That when we are afraid, we have the peace of Jesus. We have the word of God that tells us he will never leave us. He will never uh, forsake us. He is always with us and helping us. He will help you be an ambassador also. And in fact, he doesn't even expect us to have big flowery speeches or have all the right words all the time. The scripture tells us in prayer, we communicate with God. That's where we hear what God wants us to say. That's where, when we're in a situation, we're praying, God, help me say the right thing. What would you want them to hear? And let the Holy Spirit give you the actions and the words. Sometimes it's not even what we say. It's how we act. We allow Jesus to flow 
out of us. He's in our heart. And then we pray that we shine Jesus out to other people. Did you hear my phone ringing? I'm going to finish this, then answer the phone. <laughs> this is more important. I want to share this plan that Jesus has for us. After we have our armor on, we are in prayer for the battle plan. And then we are ready to be Jesus' ambassadors and to represent Jesus to this world. I hope the songs on the worship um, of this message will um, help you and strengthen you, uh, as well as in prayer, praying, Jesus, how do you want me to share? Who do you want me to talk to about Jesus? Maybe it'll be just somebody crying. Have you caught some people crying maybe in your home or people that are close to you lately? I know I've been crying more than I usually do. <laughs> and maybe your job is just to give them a hug. Maybe Jesus would just say, give them a hug. Or, sh you know, share whatever's on your heart with them. You could be the light of Jesus for that person for that day. I know Jesus uses his kids all the time. You have ministered to me many times. And this scripture is all about putting on your armor, praying, and being ready to share Jesus with others. Be blessed. I miss you so much. We will be together soon. Have a good day.